Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to add shaders to all the mod 6 and in case you have a very specific bug, uh, I'll be showing you how to fix that as well. Uh, so first thing you'll need is Optifine for the version of the mod pack, which in this case is the recommended one, which is 1.16.4. So on Optifine.net slash downloads, you should be able to find this right away. In case there's a new one in the near future, you can click show options and it will show you all the extra ones and previous ones. So we want this one at the top. Optifine HD UG5 for Minecraft 1.16.4. So click download. Um, sometimes this takes you to another page. So in the top right over here, you'll want to look for the skip button. So you got to wait five seconds for it to show up. Then hopefully it will show up. You can click that. It should take you back to Optifine. Then you can click download. And sometimes this page will change again to another ad. Normally it's like uh, War Thunder or something. You can just click save here. So save the download. Mine has a one next to it because I've downloaded it before, but yours should be just the Optifine, the Minecraft version, and the HDU G5. So that's fine. We can ignore that now. Next, you'll need the actual shaders. So you want to head over to shadersmods.com. This is the website. Now, these are the shaders we're going to be using. So you can click them right here. Or if they're not there because the website changes, obviously, you can uh, click on shader packs at the top here. So you can click that, and you'll load up this page here. And we find the right version. You can also search it yourself in this little search bar, or I guess the top search bar. So we're going to click on this, and it should take us to this page here. And what we want to do is scroll down, and about, um, we'll see when we get there, about this far down, so what, a quarter down the search bar, you should run into this part here where it says uh, download links. Um, so then what we want is some of the latest ones. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of options here, um, and these ones are the ones we want, and they have different, uh, I guess, intensities, right? So if you have a pretty uh, poor system, but you still want shaders, you probably want to go for light. I'm, I'm assuming that's what it means. Uh, I've gone for high, so I'm going to click high and download this one. You can try um, them all out, I guess, if you want. It's uh, pretty easy to do. So we've got that downloaded. That's fine. Um, and that's it. Next, we want to head over to CurseForge. We can close that. And we want to find the mod pack. So we want all the mod 6. So we're going to click on this, have this part load up. Then there's three little dots over here just to the left of the play button. You want to click this and then click open folder. That will actually open the folder that all the mods is installed into. And then what you want to do is open up mods. And then in this folder, you want to place your Optifine. So if you get your downloads, I've got my Optifine over here. Make sure you find the right Optifine. If you download it for different versions, you want to make sure that you double check the other right ones. So we want 1.16.4 for this mod pack. So we're going to right click this. We're going to click copy. So right click and copy the Optifine from your downloads and then paste it into the mods folder of all the mods six. So we're going to paste it, make sure it's in there and that's fine. From there, what you want to do is launch the game. All right, once the pack is loaded, um, this pack's a bit crazy. Sometimes the menu is like on the left and the right. It, it jumps around quite a bit, but what you want to do is head over to the options, uh, go into video settings. And now you've got all these new options because of Optifine. But what we want is shaders. So click this one. And then in the bottom left, you want to click Shaders folder. This will open up a folder that's also in the All the Mods Pack um, folder. And then what you want to do is go back to your downloads. So we can open up this. And then grab your shaders in. Make sure it's the right shaders for the right version. Right click, click copy, go in here, and paste it. And as you can see, it appears here. And for you, it probably won't be selected. I think it's possibly because I've used this before that it's pre-selected. Actually, I don't even know if it is selected, because normally you have options here. So I'll click it again, see if that worked. Yep, you can see the buttons now aren't highlighting. Um, they highlight, obviously, when the game's not frozen. And we've got the spinny circle. Uh, what you want to do here is don't click anything. So like once you've clicked this once, so it's selected, don't click anything else. Just wait. Um, because you risk crashing the game, and this is quite a big mod pack. Uh, as you can tell, it's got all the mods. Uh, so it takes a while to load, and you don't want to sit through that loading screen again. So you click it once. Make sure that, you know, the buttons aren't moving and stuff, so you know it's loading, you know it's doing stuff, and then just give it patience and let it happen. Um, this normally does take a while, so I might actually uh, cut this part so that the video is not longer than it has to be, and I'll be back once that's loaded. As you can see here, once it's uh, almost done loading, I guess, and, you know, the game's actually running, you actually get jumped right back into a loading screen. Uh, that's due to the new version of uh, Minecraft that we're on. It, it has these cool loading screens. Uh, so I guess, once again, we, we just wait. So I'll be back once it's loaded properly. All right, so in this example, uh, the game crashed. So as you can see, it's crashed and we're back here. Um, now, 
this might happen for you, and I don't think you actually have to worry. I think you can just click play, and it should be loaded this time. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click play. I'll sit through the long loading screen. If this does crash again, or it's not loaded when we go back in, uh, it might hint that we need a, one of the light versions of the uh, shaders pack, or even the medium. We can try that out. Uh, I have used this shader before in all the mods. Uh, this high shader that I'm using, the uh, high one here. So I know that it works. So we're going to load it back up again, because it might just uh, crash every time I try and set this up. So, I'll be back once this is loaded. Alright, the game has loaded. Let's give it a check just to see if it's selected. Yep, it is selected. And as you can see, our options are on the side. Now, with other uh, shaders, I normally up the render quality to 1.5. Uh, when I loaded in before, it didn't look uh, too bad. Usually I do that if it's blurry, if it looks a little bit blurry, so that's fine. Um, you can also click shader options in the bottom right over here. And you get a whole bunch of options. And this shader in particular gives you a lot of options. And I believe if you hover over them, yeah, it gives you little tool tips to tell you, uh, you know, the, the different categories and, and what they do. Uh, so there's that. Uh, you can go through that if you want. Like you can turn motion blur off, which is off by default, which isn't in most other shaders. So keep that in mind. Um, but we'll leave this uh, at the moment. We'll leave that. Um, and what we'll do is we'll click done, click done, click done. And that's it. The shaders are installed. Happy playing. Now, there is a chance that you encounter a bug, and so I'm going to load into single player. I've already got a world. I'll load this up. Uh, the world will take a little while to load in this pack as well, so bear with me. Um, and the map is to do with the sky. Uh, when you look up at the sky at certain angles, um, it, pretty much where your crosshair is, it cuts off the like um, render of the clouds that the shaders adds. Now, there's a setting within the shaders that you can change. And what you can do is you can turn off the render of the clouds, so it's just be a, it'll, it'll pretty much just be a blue sky, right? Um, so, so that's not bad. Uh, once you turn it off, you sort of get used to it, so it's not like uh, a horrible thing. Um, and then you don't notice that weird bug because there's no render to cut off. Um, hopefully, I'll encounter the bug when I load this up, so I can show you. Um, the first time I loaded up the pack, I did have that bug, and in order to fix it, there's a method where you can change a config um, for one of the mods, Astral Sorcery which affects the sky render. Um, I'll have that Reddit post linked in the description as well that shows you uh, the answer for that. Um, and, and obviously I'll go through it in this video, uh, regardless of whether I get the bug. But when I loaded the pack back up, I didn't have the bug without changing the config. Um, so, I don't know. It, it seems a bit hit or miss if you'll get the bug. Uh, so regardless of whether we get it, if we do get the bug, that's good. I get to show you guys the bug. <laughs> if we don't, uh, I'll run through the... Uh, steps on how to change that because it's actually a little bit different to what the reddit post says uh, Because I think this is a newer version of the shader and the mod pack. So uh, This world looks like it's gonna take a while. So I'll cut and I'll be back once it's loaded All right, so we're in the game and we don't actually seem to have the bug uh, So the sky is looking normal. Um, we're obviously in the mod pack. You can see we have you know, a fancy sky We have the shadows from the blocks and the trees. We have the fancy water. So you know that we have the shaders in Everything's working. That's all good. Um, is there a way to prove them in the mod pack? I've got the astral tome. These nice uh, settings here. Oh, FTB chunks. I love this. That looks beautiful. Um, it looks updated too, which is cool. All the mods here. Um, yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. We have the book. Perfect. Um, now, if you do... Oh, actually we do. Look at that. If we go up even further, you see that bar that cuts off the clouds? That can get a little annoying, uh, as you can clearly tell. Now... Honestly, at this level, it's not too bad. Um, so I'm not sure what determines where that comes into play, right? I'm not sure why it happens further down. Uh, it used to happen right where the crosshair is. Uh, so that's why it was a big issue. But that's not only, honestly too bad. Uh, if you want to change it, you can press Escape, Options, Video Settings, Shaders, Shader Options in the bottom right. I'm sorry if I went too fast, but Shader Options in the bottom right. Uh, and then I believe it's Sky and Lighting. And it's this Clouds one. So you can change these, you can try all these different options, or if you turn them off, check out this. You don't even notice it, right? Look at that. You don't notice any like bar moving, um, and it looks fine. Th this honestly doesn't look too bad. Um, but if you do want the clouds, uh, you can obviously try and mess around with these settings because there are a lot. So I would not be surprised if there is a, a better way to do it. In fact, I wonder if there's like, um, you know, something here you could change. Uh, one of these angles or... Or, I don't know, heights or something. I, honestly, I'm not too sure. And there's so many options to go through that, you know, it might not even be worth it. But 
I mean, if you, if yours is like this, this is fine. You don't have to wait until you start looking up and you're like, oh, what's happening to the pets? Um, I'm going to quit this game out and I'm going to show you the Reddit post and then I'm going to show you what I found in relation to the Reddit post. Uh, so let me do that. Okay, so here's the Reddit post I found. As you can see, this, ha this is happening right at the cross end, so it's a lot more obvious um, as you look around. Uh, and all I found about it was uh, this comment here saying that uh, it's because of Astral Sorcery and to change this setting. Now, this setting in the config for Astral Sorcery, I couldn't find for this uh, mod pack, um, but I did find something similar. So if we go back to all the mods, so if you're in the My Mod Packs, so you click on all the mods, have this load up, click on the three dots, go to open folder, head into the config folder this time, so it's second from the top. Um, then you want to search for Astral, Sorcer Astral Sorcery, which should be near the top. As you can see, we have them here. Astral Sorcery client and common now i went through the other two and so i went through astral sorcery couldn't find anything about the sky neither could i in common but in client it seems to be all about the, the sky right so i looked at all these options now i think what we have to do is change this, this one right here so whitelist of dimension ids that will have special astral sorcery sky rendering sky rendering enabled equals minecraft overworld so it's saying that the sky rendering is in the overworld. So I think we just delete this and save it. We should be good. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load this up and see if it works. If not, um, I'm gonna, you, you're probably not gonna see this. So it doesn't really matter what I say here. <laughs> um, so I'll be back. All right, uh, we're in. Everything seems to be working. And now I don't wanna spoil it because I already looked, but look at that, we're good. We're good, everything's working. Uh, you can see, obviously, we've got the shaders in. So, shaders there, perfect. Shader options, I didn't change. It's still all the same. Um, and it seems to be working. So, there you go. Fingers crossed it works for you guys too. Uh, hopefully, the shaders work. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll be looking through. Hopefully, I'll be able to help. Um, oh. I was making sure I could punch him. <laughs> I was a little bit unsure. I was a bit scared that uh, we'd uh, broken. But, yeah. Um... If you did enjoy this video and it helped you, please do consider subscribing. It helps me out quite a lot. And I make a lot of other modded Minecraft content. Uh, I'll be making more tutorials in the future for sure because uh, I like doing them. And it brings more attention to my channel, uh, which is a win-win for everyone involved. Um, and obviously, I have the playthrough series where I play through different mod packs. I might actually play through this mod pack because um, YouTube has a feature where it shows you uh, what your viewers also watch. And I see a lot of my viewers are watching this mod pack at the moment, so I might actually have to try it out. Uh, and, I mean, I've already got shaders installed, so it's win-win. And I don't currently have a an updated version of Minecraft that I'm playing at the moment, uh, unless you count a, a realm, but even then, I'm not making YouTube videos on that. So, we might check this out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>